Thank you for buying this rack from FixtureDisplays.com. Uh, the base assembles with a uh, screw as shown. There's a Allen wrench supplied, tighten that screw. And then identify this um, hub and remember the wire should face up so that the flat side of that flange is in contact with the pin on the tube. And then you will insert the top tube and then there is a hole. Uh, the hole is threaded. You would later uh, put a screw in there and that should tighten the, um, the, uh, the two tubes. Now you want to put the other hub on top, likewise, the flat side facing down. Now these metal strips have this uh, half holders uh, made of wire. Um, uh, you want to attach them. And then there is this hook on both sides. The hook hooks onto the wire on the hub. And to detach and attach, uh, this is how it's done. You insert the top portion of the little hook into a desired hole. Uh, before you do that, you want to make sure uh, you check where you're doing, um, hooking it up to. And then just insert the bottom into the lower hole. Now when you do so, you don't want to do insert the bottom piece very tight because once you do that, it's become very hard to detach. You want to do that um, lightly and then, you know, once it's all done, you don't see your need to take it off, then you can push it in a little bit more. Uh, it's going to be pretty sturdy, even a light insertion into the bottom hole. So once you put the half pockets on the strips, you can start to attach the strip to the hubs. And we're going to show you later on how to measure and how to arrange it. And it is very important that you measure before you hook it up. Uh, the clips are spring loaded. They're made of a special type of steel. However, repeatedly um, uh, opening and uh, detaching would cause it to loosen up somewhat. Uh, you want to do that with minimal amount of times. So the sequence is that you would uh, attach the first one and then the second one on the same side. Now, uh, as you plan on the installation, you want to first know the size of your card you want to put on, put in the pockets. And the adjustability is fairly wide. And the uh, left-hand side, you want to start with the flush as the maximum position. And as you can see, um, this can go up to uh, eight and a half inches dimension. So the left, you want to be no more than flush with the, uh, the hub. And then the right hand side, you can go as far as you can. The reason is that uh, you can offset the, uh, the second side, side. Now the smallest would be uh, a little over four, uh, four and a half inches, not uh, yet five inches. And that is achieved by putting the two strips as close as possible. Now you can adjust the distance uh, somewhat, uh, but you uh, want to do it right the first time again to reduce the number of times you uh, want to adjust. So use a tape measure and before you hook the hooks in, try the position where you want it to be and then push it in. Likewise, you want to measure the bottom as well before you hook it in. Uh, make sure the size is correct. And you can use a tape measure. You can also use your actual product, be it your card or your envelope or both. So be certain you measure the right and this adjustable rack, uh, rack would do wonders for your products. Now, once the two strips are, are in, 
the 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 rack start to take shape, but the hubs remain flexible on the other side. Then you want to do the opposite side. You do not want to do the next side. You want to measure and then start to do the opposite side. Now, once the three strips is in, the fourth strip you may start to need to、uh, hook on the top and the bottom simultaneously because the rigidity of the structure start to take hold. Especially when you do the other two sides, you want to be able to do. Uh, the top first and the bottom later. It, ha- it has to be hooked in simultaneously, and f- more importantly, you want to measure before you do so. And here's the close-up shot of the screw that is used to tighten the two tubes. It simply screws into through the hole the threads, and then is catching the inner tube. You do not want to over tighten that because it does not require a lot of strength to hold the two tubes together. This piggy, t-、uh, pigtail piece allow you to put a little card header in there, and that's what it's designed for. Now, as you look at the、uh, um, how the strips are configured, to take it off,、uh, you want to hold onto the strip to、um, remove the hook.、Uh, it may be a little tight in the beginning,、um, so that is designed so. So that it don't、uh, uh, easily move on its own. So adjustability、uh, is definitely there. You want to be a little cautious. If necessary, you can open up the tab or the hook on the very top a little bit, but you don't want to do so、um, uh, in great、uh, level. That will loosen it up too much.、Um, after you kind of open up that tab, you want to. Push it down as far as you can before you put it back in. That will help the、uh, gripping the wire properly. Once again, we want to thank you for buying this wonderful adjustable rack. The parts in the box may be a little overwhelming, but actually it's pretty fun to put it together. And、uh, if you need any help, feel free to let us know.、Uh, email is cs. That's Charlie Sam at fixturedisplays dot com. You can also call us six three zero two nine six four one nine zero. Thank you for shopping fixturedisplays dot com, and when you call or email, refer to SKU number one one six zero two. Thank you.